I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on PuckJS. So firstly, you need to go to the Esprino website and the PuckJS page on it. That's got a lot of information about how to update the firmware. There's a link there to a folder that contains all of the firmwares for all the different types of Esprino board. And you need to look for the PuckJS zip file with the highest number, so the latest version. Once you've found that, click and download it and um, then run the NRF Connect app, which you need to have downloaded from the App Store. Once you've got that, that'll show you all the available um, Esprino and PuckJS devices that are around. But now you need to um, reboot the PuckJS into bootloader mode. So peel off the silicon case and then tip out the board. Now you just need to poke the battery out from behind. Use a blunt object like a biro. Now once you've done this, um, we're going to put it into bootloader mode by holding down the button. You can see I've put my thumb over it now. Now you insert the battery and you let go of the button as soon as you've inserted the battery. The green LED should light first and then the red LED will stay lit when you've let go of the button and that shows that it's in bootloader mode. You can now um, click scan or drag down and it will show you all the available devices and you should find one called DFU Dark. If you click connect on it, um, after a few seconds it will go to a new menu and in the top right you'll see it that there's a little DFU icon. So if you tap that, choose distribution packet, OK, and then choose your um, download. So now it will start uploading. This will take quite a long time, so um, I'm just going to zoom through the video at this point. When the firmware update's done, all you need to do is take the battery out to reset it. So poke it out as before. Then reinsert the battery, making sure that you don't press the button down. That'll make sure that it doesn't come up in bootloader mode. Once the firmware's updated, all you have to do is put it back in the case. It's important that you put it in the right way around though, or the button won't press properly. So make sure that the area with the text on is sitting against the lip in the case. Once that's done, you won't be able to rotate it very much. You can now just simply pull the silicon case straight over the top of it and you're back to normal.